Why give a big hand out to the body? If you want to stand on your feet, then give a big hand out.
our Savior is holy. Yes, Lord. Wherever he is, that's where I want to be. Yes, that's right. That's right. Glory. For the word of God says, heaven and earth mm -hmm. shall pass away. Yes. But the word shall stand forever. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Giving honor to our creator. Yes. Who made it all possible. Yes, sir. Giving honor to our Savior. Yes. Who redeemed us all. Yes. Giving honor to the Holy Spirit. Yes, who leads and guides us every day. Yes. And giving honor to my brother and friend, Pastor McIntosh. Yes. And this fine church. Yes. Green Grove Missionary Baptist Church. Yes. I want to give honor to Ebenezer Baptist Church. Yeah, yeah. The best church on this side of here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Profile, profile, profile don't praise his own pun. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You don't praise your own pun. You need to check the frogs out. Amen. See, we have some in the house with us Amen. today. Amen. They thought it was not robbery to come and hang out with their pastor. Amen. 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 We we are still doing driving, yes, sir. but yes, we're sir. making preparations. That's right. That's right. That's Amen. Right. There's a few things that we're doing yeah. to the to the sanctuary, yes. come on, say it. and um, you know we want to make sure we do it right. Amen. 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 That was one of the reasons why Pastor asked some members to come. Because you can tell people all day long, but it's good to see it for yourself. Amen, amen. When you want people to feel comfortable and safe, sometimes it's good to show. And I'm, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful that they came out. We're not going to hold you long. Amen, amen. There's some... There's some thighs and breasts and wings that have died. Yes, sir. So we may have the right to the tree of life. Yeah, amen. 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 Yeah. amen. Journey with me to Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, beginning with verse number 9. Verse 6. Beginning with verse 6, we will end at verse 11. There you will find these holy words. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God but made himself no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of me and being found in the fashion of as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also has highly exalted him, giving him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Of the things in heaven and the things in earth, and the things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess Amen. that Jesus Christ to the glory, Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every shall bow of other things in heaven 
and the things in the earth and the things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to use for a subject when you know why wait. <laughs> when you know why wait. Come on, come on. When you know why wait. Paul is. The great writer of Philippians, we know Paul to once be one who tried to deter Christians from knowing Jesus. But Paul had an encounter with the Lord. Now Paul is doing everything he possibly can to tell somebody about the Lord. Amen. Here in the text, he's letting the people know that when Jesus returns, that every knee shall bow come on, come on. and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's when he comes back. But for you and I, the question is, if you already know him, why wait? Amen. Amen. Do you have to wait until he returns to bow down? Because my God has been too good to me. I could bow down right now and call on the name of Jesus. We know that this name is above every name. At the name of Jesus, millions have been saved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the name of Jesus, healing has taken place. Yes. At the name of Jesus, wandering children have come back home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but that's something to get down on my knees about yes, sir. Amen. and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. There's so many things we can thank God for. Yes, sir. I have Seven reasons I can thank God. Yes, sir. Come on, sis. Number one, he woke me up this morning. Yes, sir. Come on. Number two, he woke me up this morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Number three, he woke me up this morning. Yes, sir. Number four, he woke me up this morning. Yes, sir. Number five, he woke me up this morning. Yes, sir. Number six, he woke me up this morning. Yes, Number seven, he woke me up this morning. Yes, and he started me on my way. I know we're in COVID protocol. Yes, but the Bible says let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The Lord. And if you don't want to yell too loud, come on, come on. my God gave you a hand to wait. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't want to block nobody view, he gave you a foot to stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. When you know, why wait? Yes. Uh -huh. This is the text Paul is writing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's not writing this letter uh -huh. from his room. Yes, sir. He's not writing this letter while under the stars. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. He's writing this letter in a cold and dark place. Yes. Uh -huh. Prison is where he had he done his best work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you ever noticed that when people get in trouble, they have their best praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you can't get folk to praise them when they're doing good. Yes, when they're in trouble, they're in church every Sunday. Yes, but then when the Lord bless them, you see them every other yes, Sunday. Yes, but I come to let you know God has been too good to me yes, that I gotta praise his holy and righteous name. Yes, come on. Paul is telling the people that Jesus is above everything. Yes, Not only is he above everything, his name is above everything. Yes, 
we may have good names, but this name rings loud throughout the nation. When you call on the name of Jesus, demons begin to tremble. When you call on the name of Jesus, your enemies begin to step back. When you call on the name of Jesus, God begin to work things out for your good. For we know that all things work together for the good of those who are called according to this person. I don't know about you, but I'd like to see God work. I'd like to see God move in my life. Not only in my life, I'd like to see him move in others' lives. Because i like to have a front row seat when God is doing his thing. Do I have a witness here today? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. God has been good to us. He's brought us from a mighty long way. God comes to show us the way. God has given us a chance to live for eternity. God did something we our own selves could not do. He gave up his only begotten son. He gave him up to show the world that he loves us. That's a hard thing to do. I'm a proud parent. I love my children. I love them dearly. But this would be a hard thing to do. But that's why the word of God told us that we are to forsake our mothers, our fathers, yeah. and our children. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He was not saying push them to the side. Yeah. But he, what he was saying was I need to be number one. Yeah. Because the children you have, I gave them to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's why every now and then it's good to get down on your knees and tell the Lord thank you. Yeah. Thank you for my children. Yeah. Even when they're not doing right, thank you for my children. Thank you for giving them to me. God is a good God. Bowing down shows submission. Bowing down shows reverence. Bowing down is a form of worship. Let us kneel down before the Lord, our maker. Yes, Bowing and kneeling have long been associated with worship. Yes. In fact, the Hebrew word worship actually means bow down. All right, man. Yes, sir. So if you want to worship God, yes, it's good every now and then to bow down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I heard it's hard for a man to fall when he on his knees. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can get a lot done when you're on your knees. Yeah. When you bow before God, God sees your reverence. Yes, sir. Come on, Thank you. The first yes, sir. instance recorded in the Bible of bowing in reverence yes, sir. is Genesis 12, where he lifted up his eyes and looked. Yes, sir. Come on. And behold, three men were standing in front of him. Yes. When he saw them, he ran from the tent door yeah, to meet them yeah, yeah. and bow himself to the earth. Yeah. When the three heavenly visitors came to see Abraham, uh -huh. yes, he knew they represented God. Yeah, yeah. And he bowed to the ground in welcome. Yes, uh -huh. Every now and then you got to welcome the Lord in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start your day, welcome him in your life. Yeah. Say, Lord, I need you on this journey. Yeah. I can't make it by myself. Yeah. But I know if you lead me, everything will be all right. Yeah. Songwriter says, lead me and guide me yeah. along the way. Yeah. Because, Lord, if you lead me, yeah. I cannot stray. Yeah. Lord, let me walk yeah. each day with thee. Yes, sir. Yeah. Lead me, oh Lord. Yes, sir. Lead me. Yes, 
I need the Lord to lead me. I need the Lord to guide me. I need to have the faith that Abraham had. When the Lord told him to go, he didn't ask, where do you want me to go? He packed up everything and went. And where Jesus told him to stop, that's where he stopped. Some of us got to question God, where are we going? What are we doing? Why are we doing this? But I found out on the journey, how can you ask the creator where you're going? How can you ask the provider where you're going? How can you ask the way maker where you're going? If he's done it before, he'll do it again. Do you trust God enough to lead you wherever he says go? He may not tell you what the destination is, but trust God. See, by Abraham trusting God, he gave him more than what he had. I don't know about you, but I want more than what I have. So what I have to do is deny myself and pick up my cross and follow thee. I'm going to follow him until the ends of the earth. The sun may not shine. The wind may not may blow. The lightning may flash. The breakers may dash. But I'm going to trust in the Lord and lean not unto my own understanding. Because I found out that he will take care of me. Do I have a witness here? I feel like praising the Lord. Why wait until he returns? He's been good to me. He's brought me out of the Mary clay. He placed me on the rock to stay. So why? I wait, Sarah and I did. You gotta get down on your knees and say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help that I know. If I withdraw thyself from thee, oh, whether shall I go? Or you call on your friends can't be found, but if you call on Jesus, he's right there, sometimes you gotta go back on your knees and say, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear, what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer, I'm so glad I feel alright, I feel good. I feel like praising his name because when I praise him, the better I feel. And the better I feel, the more I want to praise him. I don't mind getting my exercise in. I don't mind stretching my knees out because he's been good. He's been good. He's been better than good. He's me from the rocking of my cradle up to this present point. Do I have a witness here? I don't know about you. I'm sorry that this is not a profound message. I'm sorry that this is not a deep think message. This is a kneel down message. Because every now and then I got the bow before the king because I know who I'm bowing to. Bowing to the lily of the valley. I'm bowing to the bright and morning star. I'm bowing to the way out of no way. I'm bowing to the King of Peace and the Lord of Lords. I'm bowing to the great I am. Do I have a witness? I have a witness here today. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Why wait? He didn't wait to save my soul. He didn't wait to make me whole. He didn't wait so that I may see. He didn't wait to heal my body. So why? Will I wait? I'm gonna praise him from the rising of the sun until the going down of the sand. But one more thing I got to do. They marched him up Calvary's hill where he let me be with them all night long. They drug him from hall to hall. He never said a mumbling word, but he marched up. 
who holds my future. Yes, I want to let somebody know that God has been good to me. Yes, I want to tell the world who Jesus is. Yes, I want to tell them that he is the lily of the valley. Yes, I want to tell them that he is the bright and morning star. I want to let them know that he is a way out of no way. He turned my midnight into day. Do I have a witness here today? Has God done anything in your life that you can give God some praise? Has God done anything in your life that you can practice his holy and righteous name? Has he been good to you? 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 He's been good to me. If I had 10,000 tongues, it still wouldn't be enough. I never would have made it without the Lord. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I look at what God has done. And I'm amazed at myself that God can use a wretch like me to tell somebody about Jesus. I haven't been right all the time. I make a lot of mistakes. But God is merciful and kind. God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to bow down before. God is who he is. If you have never bowed down before, You need to take this opportunity yes, sir. to reverence the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Some may say, preacher, I can't get down there. Uh -huh. And I stay by myself. Uh -huh. But when somebody comes to visit, tell them to hold on. Yes, sir. And go down on your knees. Yes, sir. And tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. And when you finish, tell them to come in the room and help you up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God always makes a way. We just got to use the ways that God made. See, some people want God to come down from heaven to make everything all right. But I found out that God uses people to make everything all right as well. You don't think God will use us? If he wasn't going to use us, what was his point of making us? We are to give him glory. We ought to give him praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ought to magnify his name and glorify his name. Yeah. There may be someone here today that want to give their life to Christ and turn their life over to the Lord. Yeah. I found out he'll make your life brand new. I found out that he will turn your life around. Is there one here today yes, sir. Yes, sir. that want to give their life to the Lord? You may come. Give God your heart. And when Pastor McIntosh return, give him your hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there one? My brother, my sister. The Lord is waiting. Yes, sir. He's waiting for you. Yes, 